Victory or Death Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter full episode review. So, I was thinking that I was just about to watch some Ocean Girl, because I'm on season 3, episode 15, and I'm like, well, you know what, why don't I just record this? <laughs> and then, like, really watch it with you guys, you know? Watch it with me, and I'll give you my honest thoughts on it, because, you know, um... I know so far on my channel, I have like episode one and two from the first season, uh, my full episode review, and now I'm just jumping to season three, which is kind of like, whoa, but um, yeah, don't, don't, obviously don't watch this if you, uh, <laughs> if, if you don't want spoilers and you're kind of watching the show for the first time, because yeah, it's awesome. It's pretty, it's, it's, I really like it, even though it's like, it is a teenage show, you know, for kids. Yes, for kids, but like mainly the teenage range. But it is a really good show that has a lot of really interesting, excuse me, in interesting themes and uh, really, really good characters. And the soundtrack is phenomenal. Soundtrack is just, oh my God, it's so good. Um, should I say the soundtrack or I should say the score? Whoever did the score, I'm going to have to look up who did the score. The score is so good. I often find myself trying to, like, go back to previous episodes from, like, all seasons and uh, or the first three seasons and just kind of, like, listen to the score. Like, some of that stuff is awesome. And right now in season three, the score is just somehow it just got better. <laughs> it's, it's been getting a lot better. It just sounds like something. It sounds like an underwater world. Like, if you were in an underwater world you're seeing like these uh, you're seeing like mermaids or just something f you know fantasy related underwater it sounds like that it sounds really 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 good with like flutes and and um whatnot yeah it's amazing so we're gonna get started with this this is ocean girl season three episode 15 the uh, the episode is called the spy so um so if you've already watched this series or you're like up to season three, episode 15, a lot has happened in season three. A lot has happened. Um, it was kind of chill from the beginning, like the first few episodes. I would say like the first three or four episodes of season three, it was kind of like really chill. They were like really letting, letting it kind of take us. It was really taking its time, which is honestly... Urgh. I like I love Ocean Girl, but at the same time, I feel like these writers are working too hard. They don't have to. They don't have to work this hard. And I know a lot of things are out of their control, especially with the actors, because from seasons two and three, there are a lot of actors that just they're just they're not there anymore. There are a lot of characters that are just not there, and they worked really hard to build those characters, and it worked for that season and you end up loving the characters to the point where like all right now we're on to the next season and guess what these characters are not there anymore and they're not going to be mentioned like ever and it's it's a little heartbreaking and it's just like oh like really and, and once again it's out of their control we don't know if these actors the show gotten so much so popular that they're like oh, okay i don't want to get typecast so i'm going to just branch out from the show and start getting other work which is completely fine and it's honestly what an actor should do but it's you know as a viewer it's 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 heartbreaking you know so and in season three you know we, we got a uh we got a few new characters at least three to four new characters that they're building up they've taken their time to build up to the point where now you, you kind of like them and you're gonna get to like them even more but it's just like the same old story for you season new characters let's take your time let's build them up you're gonna love them but guess what they're gonna be gone so i don't know what to think about season four uh i, I don't know if these characters are gonna be here so it's kind of it's kind of weird so let's get started this is ocean girl season three episode 15 this episode is called the spy there's gonna be a link in the description box because all all the entire series is on youtube from a, a, ch a youtube channel called so fetch um I'm guessing this is uh, so fetch is the original channel that this show aired on back in the 90s uh, in Australia. 
and you know obviously they have the rights to it so they're just they just they just put them on there which is really cool um i love it love it love it love it that people do that um but yeah this episode is 23 minutes and 50 seconds have not seen this before so what which i was gonna say like oh i all my full episode reviews i haven't seen before but that's that's a lie <laughs> radio for your i have 100 percent seen <laughs> Starting this episode in five, four, three, two, one. I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna fix my chair. So I was thinking, I was like, I really like this show. I think it's really cool. I think it's awesome. And I think it helps kids, teenagers, just start a conversation about marine biology, you know, and how to preserve wildlife in the ocean and hopefully get them talking about how, well, back then, how to preserve it. But as of now, today, in 2021, and how basically you cannot preserve it anymore and i believe there was a study that said in 10 years from now 10 15 years i think it's 10 years there were there's not going to be any sharks left all the sharks sharks are going to go extinct isn't that crazy absolutely crazy and it's because of all the toxic waste we dump on in the ocean all the plastic like half like when the earth was formed, it was like what seventy it's seventy percent water and then thirty percent like land, right? That seventy percent of water it used to have like just different natural uh chemicals in it that what makes the ocean, but now today, a good chunk of that percentage is plastic that's in there it's it's freaking terrible. And season three talks about that. You know, they're trying to save the ocean. Oh, what an interesting character too, Kel. I was not expecting him to be like to have that kind of character on this season but he's been pretty cool Yeah. Yeah, spring chicken. I'm happy he's eager to get in shape, buddy. That's awesome. But yeah, the most important thing about working out is recovery. That's that's the important, the most important thing. What you eat after you work out and how you sleep. That's awkward. You have a date? Hmm? Huh. Oh. 
okay. <laughs> My man. <laughs> Oh, okay. Cool. That's cool. No expectations. Keep it casual. Y'all are friends, right? Friends. <laughs> yeah, just keep it. Just enjoy the company. Yeah, man. I'm happy for you. What? <laughs> she is so amazing. Oh, no. Hmm. She should write poetry. Chill, bruh. <laughs> Let him have his fun. No, he doesn't have a girlfriend. Stop it. <laughs> oh my god. I love this music. Oh, I love it. Wow, nine years. Oh, is that how she touched them? <laughs> yeah, there's something going on between them. Well, I already knew there was something going on, but those nine years ago, something definitely happened. Yeah, stop cop blocking. No, just, just, just. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> I think as you like, you watch the first two seasons of of Winston. He's just so such a kind hearted human being. So it's nice to see this. I like her character too. Oh yeah, she's new in season three. Like, the moment she was introduced on the show, that's when the season three started to, like, really get, like, oh, okay, shit's about to go down. <laughs> it's getting good. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, my God. I think I just pieced it. Ah, damn it. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just pieced it together with the episodes called, and now she's, like, like... Going around. To, oh, now look at her. She. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Damn. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. I was happy for my boy Winston, too. You doing one handed push up? D 
you're you're gonna win because you're an alien. <laughs> That's right, I forgot, and he's like super jealous. <laughs> How much they paying you to do this to this man? They must be paying her a heap load of money. God damn. I wonder how they found her. Like, hey, we looked at your... Resume. No, oh, damn. He's going to bail on that. He's going to bail on that. <laughs> Look at Kale's face. There's a lot happening in this episode. To make the movies. That's me on set. Are we making movies today? <laughs> I would never fear anything if Neri is by my side. <laughs> I would look at I would look at Neri the same way Zev looks at Kai. If anyone has seen Lex, the uh, sci-fi series from nineteen ninety-seven, Kai is a um, he's a Bruden Bruden G. I think that's what they're called. Who's dead? But he's not dead. Therefore, he can't die. He's like immortal. And he can just... There's literally nothing stopping him. He can do whatever he wants and kill whatever he wants. And he saves Zev a lot in the show. But it's not like he's OP. It's, the show's really smart on how he can work and function. Uh, okay. <laughs> they should have told. They should have told Cal to. Uh... Until the night. <laughs> to quote from The Little Vampire. The movie from the 2000s. I was really... I'm thinking about doing an analysis on The Little Vampire. But not like the movie itself. Well, like the movie too. But like the entire franchise of The Little Vampire. Because I absolutely love that franchise. So from the movie, from the TV series that came out in the 80s. 
and from the book, like the book series. Although I never read the book. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, is she serious? Oh, we are. Oh, you are just gonna get kicked off the 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 thing. You're just gonna get kicked off of Orca, but now you did that. Oh, we're definitely gonna arrest you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love Neri so much. Okay, Neri's... Oh, she's definitely going to be, like, top 20 favorite TV characters of all time for me. Oh, that music's so good. How did he fall? How, <laughs> How did he... I'm like, what? Don't do it. I'm not going anywhere where I can't... Uh... Or I don't know where it leads. He's going to crawl in somewhere and it's going to be like a, a, a super fast air fan. And he's just going to get cut up. <laughs> I hope not, but no. Uh. So my analysis video I'm going to make for Ocean Girl, I'm still going to make it. I did, I did the graphic for it and all that. I just have so much reviews and analysis. I have three videos I want to make before I do that one, but it's on the list. And one of the things I want to talk about is like Neri's powers. Because they don't really tell you exactly how strong she is, how fast she is and all that stuff. But there's subtle hints that I can tell you. Like Jason in that boat just now, like how fast that boat was going. I guarantee you she's literally keeping up with it or she can move, definitely move faster than what that boat is. So it's kind of like, I love how the show hints. It just gives you a little hints of her powers, not giving you the full thing. Cause she can totally overpower like a grown man. She's faster than the average human, more athletic, more better balance, better strength, all that stuff. Wait, where where is he? Uh, -uh. I'm about to head back in, <laughs> back in the the shaft. Oh, gotcha. Mhm. Mm Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was great. That was freaking fantastic. Another great episode. Oh, lock her ass up. Tell security. Mm. Damn. 
Nope. Thought y'all were homies. Damn. Well, I know it's been like nine years or whatever, but shit. Now, kind of wish Winston would have had some true love right there, but he deserves better than that. What the hell? How long can she hold her breath for? You know, that's one of the questions I have, too. This is kind of sad because this is actually what's happening right now. One of the one of our greatest natural wonders is the uh, the coral reefs, and that it, it's gone. Like it's literally, there is no coral reef anymore. Oh no! What is he gonna do? Oh, he's dealing with human emotions for the first time. What is that? Are they sharing that drink? <laughs> She's a cool character too. Both of these two new characters are pretty cool too. Once again, the show has done its due diligence. Says due diligence. In uh building these newer characters up. But I wish they wouldn't have to do that. Because you know, the characters they had were just fine. He's ready to talk. He'll come. He'll come to you. You know, from how Kel's character is, I think the actor is actually doing a pretty good job playing him. Whoa. Whoa. What in the world? Are we being uh, attacked? <laughs> Dude, they literally have to save the fucking universe right now. This is crazy. Way to go, Yubri. Uh, this should be enough proof for them to stop the experiments. Wow. What a cliffhanger. Oh my god. Look at... Oh, a little bit of a spoiler. Like, What? You you see that? The season three, episode sixteen, um okay, that's the episode. Little thumbnail. It's um it's Neri's sister. She was in season two. She was pretty cool too. Um what time is it? Yeah, I'll just yeah. Next time. <laughs> that will be our next episode. Season three. See episode sixteen. Alright, well that was the episode. Look at the comments a little bit. Kale's in love with Neri. Yeah, well, duh. Jason and Neri are meant to be. I don't see that at all. That was probably one of, like, the only thing 
I did not like about season two was the fact that kind of the last minute they forced this little thing with Neri and Jason and like they kiss to say goodbye. Like what? There, there has been no romantic connection between them at all. I don't even think they have that good of chemistry together, like romantic chemistry. It's 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 a bit weird. I don't I don't agree that they they they're uh, they're meant to be like not at all. Um, Kel and Neri, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see if that ever happens. But um, I think Neri is so uh, she's so driven by her family's wishes and trying to just do better for her people and her friends and for herself and for her for for the ocean that she's just that's i think that's the number one thing that's important to her and then it's like her friends oh excuse me so yeah i think so but that was another really good episode i really 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 enjoyed that one really enjoyed it these um so far, these episodes have been really good in season three. Like, really good. I think it might be better in season two. Like, it's almost there. I think season two is the best one, best season so far. But I'm not going to know until I see all the episodes of um, of Ocean Girl. And we'll see. Because this, uh, this season has, like, 20-plus episodes. And season two only had 13, right? And season one only had 13 as well, so obviously just from like the first episode of season three you can tell this show like the the network believes in this show now and they got so much of a budget for the show they started putting cgi stuff in there and uh now they're shooting more episodes and you know just so much more stuff a little bit more stunts so it's it's cool to see that uh this show it's it's living up to its potential and the network believes in it per se almost kind of wish that would have happened the sliders <laughs> i really love sliders i need to do an episode review on that oh my god Ugh, i miss sliders it's a 1995 sci-fi show it's really good i highly uh i highly suggest it first two seasons were really good but from the creators of the show they they said that the first two seasons, they, every single episode, every single day on set, they were literally fighting with the producers, trying to do their best for them not to take over the show and change these things. And first two seasons were amazing. And it took a toll on them, like just that much to try to just protect your work. And then season three, they, they, the producers got them got them out or, or got the creator out um and you can kind of you just felt it that the show was different and then from there the one of the actors said the show lost integrity and he was complaining to the producers as well and then the producers got rid of him and that's where it really started to go downhill but there's always hidden gem episodes even in the uh weird seasons of sliders which speaking of is sliders is one of my favorite shows and i haven't seen the fifth fifth season the fifth and final season not not all the way through um which is kind of weird i finished the fourth season and i was really hesitant to i was like oh my god this is like oh it's gonna be so bad but honestly from beginning to end it was okay it was actually okay they had, they had some slider-esque episodes where it really made you question certain things uh, that the world is doing. So it was okay. Some of it was stupid. A lot of the writers clearly are not fans of the show and didn't even try to watch the previous seasons to understand the characters and they're just fucking writing shit just to write it, which just pisses me off, but whatever. Whatever, we're talking about Ocean Girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, so that was season three, episode 15. The episode is called The Spy. This episode was 23 minutes, 49 seconds. Please let me know in the comments below what you think. There are birds ch chirping right now outside of my window. My God. Uh, that is a sign for me to, uh, uh, 
to let this review go. <laughs> I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah, season three, episode 16. I took a little bit of a break, like a few weeks break from it. Um, I don't know why. I think there's just so much stuff I'm watching and so much other stuff. There's like audiobooks I'm like, I'm trying to focus on and uh, now I'm about to like grind really hard on these reviews and um, and, and see, see uh, what, what comes of it. Um, one thing I will say, last thing I'll say is I try to see if a show has three seasons because my birthday is March 13th and um I I like to call certain shows my birth like birthday episodes if it's if it lasted up to c- 3 seasons and it has up to 13 episodes cuz 313 is March 13th so I always look forward to the 313 episodes for the um for any show if they have it and Ocean Girl's 313 episode was called Lena's Betrayal which was really good <laughs> And I watched that on my birthday. <laughs> it was a birthday episode, so I saved it. And I was like, yeah. But yeah, I'll end it at that. Alrighty, Starfighters, that was the full episode review. Please let me know in the comments if you if you like the episode, if you're watching the series for the first time, or if you're like, you know, you're you're rewatching it again with me. Or, or I'm re- or I'm watching it with you rewatching it again. <laughs> um, that's p- pretty much the 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 ba- basis of what this series is. Or excuse me, this little series I'm doing for this U- for my YouTube channel is so you won't ever have to watch TV alone. So, all right. So with that said, I will see you on the next one. Victory or death, Starfighters. <laughs>